bloody hell. Hello guys! So I'm back with a makeup tutorial. More like a really, really chatty video. I just felt like talking to you guys. This is full on glam. Um, judging from the title, you guys know what it's for. It's for homecoming. So I wanted it to look really, really wearable. Makes a statement, but it's not like boom 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 and I want my prom makeup to outshine this one so um, the eyes are pretty neutral but the lashes and the eyeliner make a statement alright <laughs> the glow is definitely there and I'm just not going to even say anything else um, here's the video <laughs> I feel like I haven't done this for a while but the first thing I'm going to do is um, use some chapstick because while this chapstick is you know setting in my lips mwah, the rest of the makeup will be done <laughs> Okay, so for primer, I'm going to be using two primers today. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, which I have a sample of. I just wanted to use the sample. Um, judging from the sample, it is really good, but as you can see, it like flakes. Um, but yeah, I just use it on my nose because I see that that's where I have a lot of pores. But then I use another primer, which is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. So one pump gets you a lot, and this texture is oh my god it's so smooth um what i like to do is i just apply it on my face and i focus in the middle but i also like to apply it here because that's where i get a lot of patches rub that in oh and by the way do you guys like my nails i only spent eight dollars on them because i was not about to pay thirty dollars for acrylic nails and yes i'm vietnamese so i could have done it myself but like <laughs> for homecoming I was really not in the mood, so I just got the, like, I got, I went to Target. I recently made a purchase on this L'Oreal Inflammable Pro Matte Foundation. I saw a lot of YouTubers use them, and I was, like, really curious because I wanted a matte foundation, and I wanted one that lasted really long. This claims to last 24 hours, which I think is a little dumb because, I mean, who's really going to wear their makeup for 24 hours? I mean, if you're, hmm, you know. I used this once before and um, it was basically to test out if it did last long because I want it to last long for homecoming because you know like I want this to stay on the whole night. So I'm just blending this out with my beauty blender because it just gives the best like flawless finish. Now I'm going to be using my It Cosmetics, oh, I said that really weird. It Cosmetics a Hello Light Liquid Brightener and the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, it's a duo. So for the concealer, I'm just gonna get it. This is in the shade medium. And I like to just get a little bit underneath my eye circles, just like this, you know, like a Nike symbol. Then I get the highlighter side, the brightener, and I go under and I drag it up. So it's like a Nike side, like, ooh, just do it. You're gonna go down the bridge of your nose and just a little bit ooh, between the brows. You know, as you guys know, if you've been here for a while, then um, in the summer, I was posting like crazy. I was like, you know, two times a week. But now it's like I can barely catch up to one week. And one week is like, shoot. And I always have that feeling where it's like, oh no, I have to post a video. And it's like, I shouldn't feel like that because YouTube is my hobby. I'm doing this for the fun of it. And it's like, I didn't come into YouTube like, bro, I'm gonna make so much money. <laughs> like. <laughs> That's so like, oh my god. About to use the Laura Mercier translucent powder because it's my favorite. Yes, we're gonna bake today. My standard, if you would like to call it, um, posting time is once a week on a Sunday, and I post on Sundays. Um, why I do that is just because you guys expect a video. I'm gonna be here, and if you guys are gonna subscribe to my channel, expect someone that's gonna stay for a really long time overall. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the face up. I'm gonna be using the Hula by Benefit bronzer. This is a flippin' flippin' throwback. Um, I've been loving the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Youth Sculpted Contour and Highlight Brush. So as you can see, I just blending is key. I've just blended it on my temples all the way to my jawline. I put a little bit on my nose because I do like contouring my nose, but I'll go in with an actual like brush later. Actually, I'm gonna do that right now. The same bronzer, and I'm just gonna go ahead and contour my nose. There are many different ways that people contour their nose. This is just how I do it. I like going from my eyebrow down, kind of curve in, and then for the tip, I just go under. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and just set the baking powder now, because I actually already swiped off um, many of the excess, but now I'm just gonna go ahead and push it into my skin. 
For the eye makeup, I'm using my favorite must palette, which is a Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. If you guys are on the lookout for a basic palette and you want one to add to your collection, make sure you have this in your collection. I do makeup for other people and this is the palette I gravitate to because it honestly has so many shades and all of the shades go with different skin tones. So I'm just gonna be applying a nice warm brown into my crease. Flat top brush, flat top brush. Using my favorite shade ever, um, this one, I don't know what name it is, it's like it's like a rosish <laughs> rose gold champagne kind of thing but i'm patting this on my lid uh if you pat shimmery shades it tends to be more pigmented so as you can see look at that bling bling okay i'm also going to be putting this underneath my brow so for my brow bone highlight and a little bit on my nose just like this part and any excess on my cupid's bow now I'm going to go back to the brush that we used with the brown and I'm just going to be blending this so there's any, just blending any harsh lines. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the Carly by Bell BH Cosmetics palette and I'm going to be using the burgundy and dark brown shade for my outer crease going in really small circles at the outer corner of my eye as you can see. And then you're going to blend it in kind of like a V on the outside of your eye. So this is kind of like taking it back to the basics when everyone was like, All right guys, you want to make a V and a C shape on the outside of your eye. So as you can see, it just creates really natural smokiness. Clean blending brush. You're going to get a clean blending brush and start blending the very outer part of each eyes. Um, this is just going to make sure that the lines are less harsh and they're even on both sides. That's something I cannot stress enough. Make sure your eyes are even. So just drag it out until your um, makeup kind of just like forms into a really nice sharp edge. So as you can see, you get a really sharp V and this is, mm, I love the look. Love the look, get the London look. <laughs> now, here's where the fun begins. You get your favorite concealer, uh, one that you know, preferably matches your skin color for real. And I'm gonna get a really nice flat angled brush and it's pretty big. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just carve out the shadow. Now I'm getting my little baby brush. This is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Lux Magic Eraser and it is amazing at blending. Uh, all I have to do is like sweep once and it'll blend. So the eyeshadow is done, uh, your eyes should look really elongated, um, kind of as if we got some winged eyeliner going on. So lately I've been using the Milani Infinite uh, Liquid Eyeliner. Okay, this is probably the most gooeyest, it's really hard to apply. The only reason why I'm using it is because it's long lasting. Back in the day I used to just put this on and it would last for like 3 days and I would just like sleep with it but I've like removed the rest of my makeup but I'd sleep with my eyeliner on. Ugh, it's like so hard to apply with. You can also just put it on the back of your hand and apply it with a brush. If you guys are not that good at eyeliner then I don't re recommend that you use this but just try finding a long lasting eyeliner that you can use. Now that you have magically finished the other eye we're gonna move on to highlighter. So I'm gonna be using the A Cosmetics Hello Light uh, highlighter. And this is a really nice champagne one, really similar to the Becca Hill Champagne Pop, which I'm actually gonna get soon because that one is phenomenal. Um, I'm using the big mega fan brush by A Cosmetics. Um, and I'm just gonna be applying that on the high top of my face. So, yeah, this one is just for overall because trust me, I'm gonna make sure that we glow, okay? We are gonna glow for homecoming. Uh, this really does make it look like you're glowing from within as you can see but guys after that Carly by Bell all right Carly by Bell BH Cosmetics palette we are gonna be using this shade right here and this shade right here we're gonna get a thinner smaller fan brush and this is gonna be the actual pop of highlight um, trust me on this one and yeah. really gently just build it up right up here to never have enough glow Boom! Okay, so as you can see, I got my lashes on. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies. It honestly does tie the whole look together. I really love how the eyeshadows blend in with the eyeliner. It goes, you know, like bang, elongates. All right, for lips, I'm going to be using the MAC uh, lip liner in the shade Whirl. And I'm going to be aligning my lips. So that is my makeup fully done. Um, I'm obsessed with it. 
Um, here is a sneak peek into my prom makeup. I'm actually gonna be having prom on the same day as my SAT, which is so great, isn't it? Um, but yes, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Hey guys, so I'm actually really excited for this video because I feel like I haven't sat down and talked about products that I love and I'm just really happy to share these with you guys.